Imagine flying at 38,000 feet over the vast Atlantic Ocean, far from the reach of conventional radar stations. How do air traffic controllers know your exact position? What if you were in a distress? Who would know where to look for? The answer lies in a technology that has revolutionized air traffic surveillance, the Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast, or better known as ADSB. ADSB is an advanced surveillance technology that allows aircraft to broadcast their precise location, speed and altitude in real time. Unlike traditional radar, which works by bouncing radio waves of the aircraft and calculating their position from the reflective signals, ADSB relies on GPS data from the aircraft itself. This information is automatically transmitted via a transponder on board the plane and is picked up by ground stations and other aircraft equipped with ADSB receivers. So the name itself tells the story. Automatic because it operates without pilot or controller input. Dependent because it relies on the aircraft's navigation systems. Surveillance because it provides real-time tracking and broadcast because it continuously transmit data to anyone with the right equipment. ADSB has been in development for decades, but its widespread implementation began in the early 2000s. Now, the US Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, first introduced ADSB trials in Alaska under the Capestone program in the late 1990s, demonstrating its effectiveness in improving air safety in remote areas. By 2020, ADSB became mandatory for aircraft flying in controlled airspace in the US, Europe, and many other regions around the world. This mandate significantly improved air traffic management, making flying significantly safer and more efficient. I couldn't agree more. Now, most modern aircraft are equipped with an ADSB transponder, which broadcasts the aircraft's precise location every second. Now, this data is received by ground stations and then relayed to air traffic controllers, providing an incredibly accurate real-time picture of the sky. But ADSB does more than just assist air traffic controllers, it also enhances the pilot's situational awareness. With tools like ForeFlight, pilots can see nearby aircraft on their iPads, making it easier to avoid traffic and navigate congested areas. ForeFlight is an electronic flight bag, an EFB app, used by many pilots, especially in the general aviation sector. So when paired with an ADSB receiver, like the Sentry or Stratus, ForeFlight allows pilots to view real-time traffic data directly on their iPads. Now, this means that even in uncontrolled airspace, pilots can see nearby aircraft equipped with ADSB out, enhancing situation awareness and improving safety. In my opinion, this is the best improvement for the GA sector right after the parachute in Cirrus planes. Don't joke about it if you can't afford a Cirrus. So imagine flying into a busy, uncontrolled airport. Now, instead of relying solely on radio calls and visual spotting, you can now see a digital map of aircraft around you. This is especially useful for pilots flying in low visibility conditions, making mid-air collisions far less likely. You could loosely say that the ADSB in the GA sector has become somewhat of a TCAS. Sorry for the quick interruption. Just wanted to say if you want to become a pilot and you want to inform yourself on all the steps that you need to beg, or if you need a supportive community, if you are already on your way on becoming a pilot, check out the link below and join my Patreon group. You will not regret it. It's a huge group of people who are just willing to help. We're going to have regular Zoom calls. We're going to have direct messaging. We can chat with each other. It's going to be great. Check it out and see you on the other side. See ya. One of the most significant limitations of traditional ADSB is its reliance on ground stations. Now, since ADSB signals require a direct line of sight, 
aircraft flying over oceans, deserts or remote regions might not always be within range. Now this is where space-based ADSB comes into play. Companies like Arion have developed a global network of ADSB receivers mounted on Iridium Next satellites. Now these satellites orbit the Earth at about 780 kilometers or 485 miles, collecting ADSB signals from the aircraft worldwide and relaying them to air traffic control centers. Now this system eliminates coverage gaps, allowing controllers to track flights in real time anywhere on the planet, including remote oceanic routes where radar coverage has always been limited. For airlines, this means optimized routing, reduced fuel consumptions and lower emissions. Now for search and rescue teams, it means being able to locate downed aircraft almost instantly. One of the most significant lessons learned from the disappearance of Malaysian Airlines flight MH370 in 2014 was the need for better tracking of aircraft in remote areas. And space-based ADSB is now closing that gap. ADSB data isn't just useful for pilots and air traffic controllers, it also powers one of the world's most popular flight tracking platforms, FlightRadar24. Now this service collects ADSB transmissions from a global network of volunteer ground receivers, allowing anyone with an internet connection to track flights in real time. FlightRadar24 users can see live flight paths, aircraft details, and even playback past flights. Now, aviation enthusiasts, journalists, and even airlines use this data for various purposes, from tracking unusual flight patterns to monitoring global air traffic trends. And during major aviation events, such as emergency landings or high-profile flights, FlightRadar24 often provides insight before official statements are released. <laughs> The aviation industry is constantly evolving and ADSB is at the forefront of this transformation. As technology advances, we can expect even greater integration with artificial intelligence, predictive analytics and enhanced weather monitoring systems. One excitement development is the potential for ADSB to be used in unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs or drones better known with airspace becoming more congested due to commercial drone operations, integrating ADSB into UAVs could be a game changer ensuring safer skies for both manned and unmanned aircraft. Another area of growth is cybersecurity. Now, since ADSB broadcasts openly, there are concerns about potential spoofing or hacking threats. Now, future advancements will likely focus on encryption and authentication methods to protect this critical aviation infrastructure. ADSB has undeniably transformed aviation, providing a real-time tracking, improving safety, and making air travel more efficient. From commercial airliners crossing the Atlantic to private pilots flying with ForeFlight or you checking on your ex-girlfriend flying to her new lover with flight radar 24, this technology has become an essential part of modern airspace management. With the advent of space-based ADSB and new developments in aviation technology, the future of air traffic surveillance is more precise and reliable than ever before. So next time you're watching a flight on FlightRadar24 or checking the surrounding traffic on your ForeFlight app, remember the sophisticated network of satellites, ground stations and transponders working tirelessly to keep our skies safe. That's it for today. If you have other aviation related questions, please be sure to check out my other videos or ask in the comment section for the chance to have your question answered in a future video. And on that bombshell, here's your checklist today. Subscribe to my channel, check activate the notification bell, check follow my Instagram account, check join my Patreon community, check and don't forget, a good pilot is always learning. Wishing you all the best. Your Captain Joe.